Alaska CDL General Knowledge Test. Question 1. You must inspect your cargo. After every break. Every 3 hours or 150 miles. Both of these answers are correct. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 2. You are driving on a two-lane road. An oncoming driver drifts into your lane and is headed straight for you. Which of these is most often the best action to take? Steer to the right. Prepare for impact. Hard braking. Answer. Steer to the right. Question 3. As the blood alcohol concentration, back, goes up, what happens? The drinker can sober up in less time. Judgment and self-control are affected. The drinker more dearly sees how alcohol is affecting him, her. Answer. Judgment and self-control are affected. Question 4. What are some things to do at an accident scene to prevent another accident? Try to get your vehicle to the side of the road. If you're stopping to help, park away from the accident. All of these answers are correct. Answer. All of these answers are correct. Question 5. What are some advantages of going right instead of left around an obstacle? Someone may be passing to the left. You can avoid a head-on collision. Both answers are correct. Answer. Both answers are correct. Question 6. Turn signals should be used. At least 350 feet before turning or changing lanes. At least 250 feet before turning or changing lanes. At least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. Answer. At least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. Question 7. Which of these is true about the radiator shutters and the window front? You should remove ice from the radiator shutters. The engine may overheat if the winter front is left open. The winter front should be closed tightly. Answer. You should remove ice from the radiator shutters. Question 8. What is the minimum tread depth for front tires? 2 30 seconds inch. 4 30 seconds inch. 1 30 second inch. Answer. For 30 seconds inch. Question 9. Implied consent means when you sign the driver's license application form, you Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Give your consent for your vehicle to be inspected for alcohol. Understand that you may drink alcohol now before driving. Answer. Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Question 10. 
Which of these can cause the vehicle to skid? Both of these answers are correct. Over acceleration. Not enough weight on the front axle. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 11. When approaching a traffic light that has been green for a long time, you should Accelerate so you get through the light. Start to slow down so you will be ready to stop. Continue at your current speed. Answer Start to slow down so you will be ready to stop. Question 12. The total weight of the powered unit, the trailer, and the cargo is called Gross combination weight Gross vehicle weight Gross axle weight Answer Gross combination weight Question 13. Which of these statements is not true about backing a heavy vehicle? You should back slowly until you slightly bump into the dock. You should back and turn toward the driver's side whenever possible. You should use a helper and communicate with hand signals. Answer You should back slowly until you slightly bump into the dock. Question 14. The most important reason for being alert to hazards is so. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Accident reports will be accurate. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 15. How do you correct rear wheel acceleration skid? Stop accelerating. Apply more power to the wheels. Counter steer the steering wheel. Answer. Stop accelerating. Question 16. If your brakes get wet while driving on a rainy day, what can happen when you apply the brakes? Hydroplaning. Excessive brake wear. Trailer jackknife. Answer. Trailer jackknife. Question 17. Why should you back towards the driver's side? So you can see better. Both answers are correct. Backing toward the right side is dangerous. Answer. Both answers are correct. Question 18. Which item below lists almost all or all the emergency equipment that is required on a school bus? A crowbar and a fire extinguisher only. A fire extinguisher, flashlight, fuses, electrical fuses, if your vehicle uses them, a crowbar, emergency triangles, and a first aid kit, with an emergency medical card for each student inside the first aid kit. A can of brake fluid, flashlight, and a new bottle of window washer fluid. Answer A fire extinguisher, flashlight, fuses, electrical fuses, if your vehicle uses them, a crowbar, emergency triangles, and a first aid kit, 
with an emergency medical card for each student inside the first aid kit. Question 19. Which of these things is a good thing to do when steering to avoid a crash? Steer with one hand so that you can turn the wheel more quickly. Do not turn any more than needed to clear what is in your way. Apply the brakes while turning. Answer Do not turn any more than needed to clear what is in your way. Question 20. Which of these statements is true about medicines used to treat the common cold? It should only be used when driving during the daytime. It often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving. It can be used while driving as long as you only take half the regular dose. Answer it often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving. Question 21. The height of the vehicle's center of gravity is very important for safe handling. Get stuck. Roll over. Stop faster. Answer. Roll over. Question 22. Which of these statements about certain types of cargo is true? Oversized loads can be hauled without special permits during daylight hours. Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution on curves. When liquids are hauled, the tank should always be loaded completely full. Answer. Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution on curves. Question 23. Why should you be in the proper gear before starting down a hill? Because the clutch is made to be used on even surfaces. You will not be able to shift into a lower gear once you are going down a hill. Because you need to be in the same gear at the bottom of the hill. Answer You will not be able to shift into a lower gear once you are going down a hill. Question 24. What effects can wet brakes cause? Your foot can get tired. Brakes to work better. Brakes can be weak to grab. Answer Brakes can be weak to grab. Question 25. How do you calculate how many seconds of following distance space you have? Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Then multiply your figure by 2. Divide your speed by 4 and add 1 second for every 10 feet of trailer you are hauling. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Answer Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark. Then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Question 26. If you go twice as fast your stopping distance will increase by 4 times 2 times 3 times Answer 4 times Question 27. If a straight vehicle, no trailer or articulation, goes into a front wheel skid, it will 
go straight ahead even if the steering wheel is turned. Slide sideways and spin out. Go to the right. Answer. Go straight ahead even if the steering wheel is turned. Question 28. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The amount of liquid will expand in transit The legal weight limits All of these are correct Answer All of these are correct Question 29 you are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 50 miles per hour. Driving conditions are ideal. Dry pavement, good visibility. What is the least amount of space that you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? 4 seconds 3 seconds 5 seconds Answer 5 seconds Question 30. To prevent brake fade you should Select a gear that will keep your vehicle to a safe speed on steep downgrades. Apply constant hard pressure on the brakes. Coast down hills that are not very steep inclines. Answer Select a gear that will keep your vehicle to a safe speed on steep downgrades. Question 31. There are three types of a vehicle inspections. Which of these is one of them? Post-trip and pre-trip. En route. All of these answers are correct. Answer. All of these answers are correct. Question 32. What is the minimum tread depth for front tires? Four thirty seconds inch. Two thirty seconds inch. One thirty second inch. Answer. Four thirty seconds inch. Question 33. What is counter steering? Turning the wheel back in the other direction after steering to avoid a traffic emergency. Turning the wheel in a counterclockwise fashion. Steering in the opposite direction from what other drivers expect you to. Answer. Turning the wheel back in the other direction after steering to avoid a traffic emergency. Question 34. Where or when should you test the stopping action of your service brakes? When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. In the parking lot when the vehicle is not moving. At a special brake testing center only. Answer When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. Question 35 Which of these can cause the vehicle to skid? Both of these answers are correct. Not enough weight on the front axle. Over acceleration. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 36 Which of these statements about cargo loading is true? The legal maximum weight allowed by a state can be considered safe for all driving conditions. State laws dictate legal weight limits. If the shipper loads the cargo, 
the driver is not responsible for overloading. Answer State laws dictate legal weight limits. Question 37, Retarders Allow you to disconnect the steering axle brakes can cause the drive wheels to skid when they have poor traction cause extra brake wear answer can cause the drive wheels to skid when they have poor traction question 38 which of these is important to check before driving in the winter exhaust Tires Steering Answer Exhaust Question 39. Which of these statements about managing space is true? Many accidents are caused by drivers keeping too much space in front of their vehicles. Smaller vehicles require more space to stop than larger ones. When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. Answer When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. Question 40 if you are driving a 30-foot vehicle at 55 miles per hour, how many seconds of following distance should you allow? 6 seconds 8 seconds 4 seconds Answer 4 seconds Question 41 if you are driving a long distance, you should Avoid short breaks but keep the window open. Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Take a short break once or twice during the trip when you are feeling tired or drowsy. Answer Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Question 42. To help you stay alert while driving, you should Schedule trips for hours you are normally asleep. Take cold medicine, if you have a cold. Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Answer Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Question 43 What are some advantages of going right instead of left around an obstacle? Someone may be passing to the left. You can avoid a head on collision. Both answers are correct. Answer Both answers are correct. Question 44. You should back and turn toward the driver's side. If you do not have someone to help you. Unless you would have to drive around the block first. So you can watch the rear of the vehicle by looking out the side window. Answer So you can watch the rear of the vehicle by looking out the side window. Question 45 Which of the following cannot be checked at the same time? Brake lights and red reflectors, on rear. Brake light, turn signal and four-way flasher functions. Headlights and amber reflectors. Answer 
brake light, turn signal and four-way flasher functions. Question 46. Tank vehicles are used to carry any liquid and are dangerous to drive because High center of gravity Both of these answers are true. Danger of load surge Answer Both of these answers are true. Question 47. Stop braking. Involves steady pressure on the brake pedal without locking the wheels. Should never be used. Involves releasing the brakes only after the wheels lock up. Answer. Involves releasing the brakes only after the wheels lock up. Question 48. Which of these statements is true about speed management? On slippery roads, it takes longer to stop and is harder to turn without skidding. Road surfaces will freeze before bridges. Shady parts of the road allow better traction than open areas. Answer On slippery roads it takes longer to stop and is harder to turn without skidding. Question 49. Implied consent means when you sign the driver's license application form, you Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Give your consent for your vehicle to be inspected for alcohol. Understand that you may drink alcohol now before driving. Answer Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Question 50. What is hydroplaning? Driving in the snow. When you hit a pothole. When the tires lose their contact with the road. Answer. When the tires lose their contact with the road. Question 51. Which of these is true about hours of service? You must take a break after every two hours of driving. You should balance your hours of service with enough sleep to keep you alert. After 1000 hours of service you will be exempt from certain regulations. Answer You should balance your hours of service with enough sleep to keep you alert. Question 52. Which of these is not a proper use of vehicle lights? Flashing your brake lights to stop someone from tailgating. Turning on your headlights during the days when visibility is reduced. Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you that you are slowing down. Answer Flashing your brake lights to stop someone from tailgating. Question 53. You should schedule your driving. Between the hours of 4 a.m. and 6 p.m. Between the hours of 10 a.m. and midnight. For the hours you are normally awake. Answer. For the hours you are normally awake. Question 54. What is the minimum tread depth for front tires? 2 30 seconds inch. 1 30 second inch. 4 30 seconds inch. Answer. 
for 30 seconds inch. Question 55, which of these will happen if a tire blows out at highway speeds? A rapid drop in speed to below 20 miles per hour. Vibrating feeling. A loud hissing sound. Answer. Vibrating feeling. Question 56. Brake fade. Can be corrected by letting up on the brakes for 1-2 seconds and then reapplying them. Can be caused by the brakes becoming too hot. Only occurs with drum brakes. Answer. Can be caused by the brakes becoming too hot. Question 57. To correct a drive wheel braking skid you should. Counter steer. Keep your foot off the clutch. Turn slowly. Answer. Counter steer. Question 58. What three things add up to total stopping distance for your truck or bus? Observation distance, reaction distance, braking distance. Attention distance, reaction distance, slowing distance. Perception distance, reaction distance. Breaking distance. Answer. Perception distance, reaction distance, breaking distance. Question 59. To prevent a load from shifting, there should be at least one tie down for every feet of cargo. 7. 15. 10. Answer. 10. Question 60. Which of the following statements about backing is true? Backing is always dangerous. You should back and turn towards the driver's side whenever possible. Both of the these are true. Answer. Both of the these are true. Question 61. Which of these is not something you should do if your headlights are not working properly? Leave your high beams on. Adjust the headlights. Clean the headlights. Answer. Leave your high beams on. Question 62. Which of these statements about managing space is true? When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. Many accidents are caused by drivers keeping too much space in front of their vehicles. Smaller vehicles require more space to stop than larger ones. Answer When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. Question 63. What are two special occasions where you should downshift? When starting off fast and speed shifting. Before starting up a hill and when going around a curve. Before starting down a hill and before entering a curve. Answer. Before starting down a hill and before entering a curve. Question 64. You are checking your wheels and rims for a pre-trip inspection. 
Which of these statements is true? A vehicle can be safely driven with one missing lug nut on a wheel. Rust around lug nuts may mean that they are loose. Cracked wheels or rims can be used if they have been welded. Answer Rust around lug nuts may mean that they are loose. Question 65. When driving in cold weather conditions, your tire tread should have at least two 30 seconds inch tread on it. Provide enough traction to steer and push the vehicle through snow. Have at least four 30 seconds inch tread on it. Answer. Provide enough traction to steer and push the vehicle through snow. Question 66. Which of these statements is not true about backing a heavy vehicle? You should back slowly until you slightly bump into the dock. You should use a helper and communicate with hand signals. You should back and turn toward the driver's side whenever possible. Answer You should back slowly until you slightly bump into the dock. Question 67 When you check the condition of visible parts during your pre-trip inspection, make sure that the are secured against snagging, rubbing or wearing. Frame and cross members. Airlines and electrical wiring. Primary and secondary safety cab locks. Answer. Airlines and electrical wiring. Question 68. Name some suspension system defects. Leaking shock absorbers. Broken leaves in leaf spring and cracked or broken spring hanger. Both of the answers are correct. Answer. Both of the answers are correct. Question 69. What are two special occasions where you should downshift? When starting off fast and speed shifting. Before starting down a hill and before entering a curve. Before starting up a hill and when going around a curve. Answer. Before starting down a hill and before entering a curve. Question 70. Retarders. Cause extra brake wear. Allow you to disconnect the steering axle brakes. Can cause the drive wheels to skid when they have poor traction. Answer. Can cause the drive wheels to skid when they have poor traction. Question 71. The purpose of retarders is to Apply extra braking power to the non-drive axles. Help slow the vehicle while driving and reduce brake wear. Help prevent skids and reduce brake wear. Answer. Help slow the vehicle while driving and reduce brake wear. Question 72. Your brakes can get wet when you drive through a heavy rain. What can this cause when the brakes are applied? Wheel lockup. Lack of braking power. All of these are correct. Answer. All of these are correct. 
Question 73. What is the first thing you should try to do if your brakes fail while driving downhill? Call a radio for help. Try to use your parking brake to stop. Get off the road as soon as possible. Answer. Get off the road as soon as possible. Question 74. Which of these statements about drinking alcohol is true? Alcohol first affects judgment and self-control, which are essential for safe driving. Statistics show that drivers who have been drinking have a much greater chance of being in a crash. All of these are true. Answer. All of these are true. Question 75. Which of these statements is true about speed management? Road surfaces will freeze before bridges. Shady parts of the road allow better traction than open areas. On slippery roads, it takes longer to stop and is harder to turn without skidding. Answer On slippery roads, it takes longer to stop and is harder to turn without skidding. Question 76. The total weight of the powered unit, the trailer, and the cargo is called Gross combination weight Gross axle weight Gross vehicle weight Answer Gross combination weight Question 77. Which piece of emergency equipment should be in your vehicle? Circuit breakers First aid kit Warning devices for parked vehicles Answer Warning devices for parked vehicles Question 78. When driving at night, use your low beams, when an oncoming vehicle is within 400 feet 300 feet 500 feet Answer 500 feet Question 79 to avoid a crash, you had to drive on to the right shoulder. You are now driving at 40 miles per hour on the shoulder. How should you move back onto the pavement? Come to a complete stop, if possible, before staring back onto the pavement. Keep moving at the present speed and stare very gently back onto the pavement. Brake hard to slow the vehicle. Then steer sharply on to the pavement. Answer Come to a complete stop, if possible, before staring back onto the pavement. Question 80 Some liquid tanks are divided into several smaller tanks by Regulators Baffles Bulkheads. Answer. Bulkheads. Question 81. What is a hazardous materials placard? Signs put on the back of a vehicle which identify the hazard class of the cargo. Signs put on the outside of a vehicle which identify the hazard class of the cargo. Signs put on the outside of a vehicle which identify the hazard class and weight of the vehicle. Answer Signs put on the outside of a vehicle which identify the hazard class of the cargo.
Question 82. When driving a commercial vehicle with a height over 13 feet, you should Stop and make sure, if you aren't certain a clearance is high enough. Not worry about the height clearance as long as you stay on the state or federal highways. Assume all clearances are high enough. Answer Stop and make sure, if you aren't certain a clearance is high enough. Question 83. Which of these is true about hours of service? After 1,000 hours of service you will be exempt from certain regulations. You should balance your hours of service with enough sleep to keep you alert. You must take a break after every two hours of driving. Answer You should balance your hours of service with enough sleep to keep you alert. Question 84. Which of these tell you that cargo contains hazardous materials? A hazardous materials placard on the vehicle. Both of these answers are correct. A 4-inch, diamond-shaped hazardous materials label on the container. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 85. Which of the following is not a type of retarder? Electric Robotic Hydraulic Answer Robotic Question 86. Which of these statements is true about drugs? The use of alcohol or drugs can lead to collision and, or arrest. A driver can use any prescription drug while driving. Certain prescription drugs are allowed to reduce fatigue. Answer The use of alcohol or drugs can lead to collision and, or arrest. Question 87. When should you wear seat belts? Only in states where law requires it. Any time you are in a moving vehicle. Whenever you are hauling hazardous materials. Answer. Any time you are in a moving vehicle. Question 88. When a vehicle is carrying a load at night, which extends 4 feet or more beyond the rear of the body, there must be at the extreme end of the load. Two red lights. One large red flag. Three red flags. Answer. Two red lights. Question 89. You are checking your steering and exhaust systems in your pre-trip inspection. Which of these problems should be fixed before the vehicle is driven? Oil on the tie rod. Gray smoke from the exhaust pipe. Steering plane more than 10%, 2 inches on a 20-inch wheel. Answer. Staring play more than 10%, 2 inches on a 20-inch wheel. Question 90. Which of these is a good thing to do when driving at night? Look directly at oncoming headlights only briefly. Drive slowly enough to stop within the range of your headlights. Keep your instrument lights bright. Answer. 
Drive slowly enough to stop within the range of your headlights. Question 91. What should wheel bearing seals be checked for? Gasoline. Leaks. Color changes. Answer. Leaks. Question 92. You should have a minimum of tread on your steering tires. Four thirty seconds inch, one fourth inch, two thirty seconds inch. Answer Four thirty seconds inch. Question ninety three. As the blood alcohol concentration, back, goes up, what happens? The drinker more dearly sees how alcohol is affecting him, her. The drinker can sober up in less time. Judgment and self-control are affected. Answer Judgment and self-control are affected. Question 94. How does bleeding tar affect the road surface and driving conditions? It is very sticky slowing down your vehicle. Tar in the road pavement rises to the road surface in very hot weather causing the roads to become very slippery. It does not affect the road surface or driving conditions. Answer. Tar in the road pavement rises to the road surface in very hot weather causing the roads to become very slippery. Question 95. Which of these statements is true about other drivers? Mail or delivery truck drivers did not pose a hazard. Drivers using turn signals can be trusted to turn in the direction they indicate. Short-term or daily rental truck drivers are often not used to the limited vision and pose a hazard. Answer Short-term or daily rental truck drivers are often not used to the limited vision and pose a hazard. Question 96. You are driving a new truck with a manual transmission. What gear will you probably have to use to take a long, steep downhill grade? The same gear you would use to climb the hill. A lower gear than you would use to climb the hill. Shift into neutral and coast. Answer A lower gear than you would use to climb the hill. Question 97. The braking effect of the engine is greatest when the engine is the govern RPMs and the transmission is in the gears. Above, lower. Below, higher. Near, lower. Answer. Near, lower. Question 98. Which of the following statements is true? Many heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight and 6 a.m. Most people are more alert at night than during the day. Most hazards are more easily seen at night than during the day. Answer. Many heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight and 6 a.m. Question 99. Which of these statements about using turn signals is true? When turning, you should signal early. You should use your turn signal to mark your vehicle when it is pulled off on the side of the road. 
You do not need to use your turn signal when changing lanes in traffic on a four-lane highway. Answer When turning, you should signal early. Question 100. The purpose of a baffle is to To keep expansion of load down. Separate the load. Control the load surge. Answer Control the load surge. Question 101. When driving at night, use your low beams when an oncoming vehicle is within 300 feet, 500 feet, 400 feet. Answer 500 feet. Question 102. The total weight of the powered unit, the trailer, and the cargo is called Gross axle weight Gross vehicle weight Gross combination weight Answer Gross combination weight Question 103. Measuring back, blood alcohol concentration, is done by measuring a person's body weight, height, age. Answer Body weight. Question 104. Which of the following statements about tank vehicles is true? Special skills are required to haul liquid tanks. All tank vehicles have some sort of bulkhead or a baffle. The term tank vehicle refers only to those vehicles having a permanently attached tank. Answer Special skills are required to haul liquid tanks. Question 105. When checking lights you should Turn off the engine and take the key with you. Turn on the headlights and four-way flashers. Both of these answers are correct. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 106. Your brakes can get wet when you drive through a heavy rain. What can this cause when the brakes are applied? Wheel lockup. Lack of braking power. All of these are correct. Answer. All of these are correct. Question 107. With the back of, most people lose consciousness, and some die. 0 0.16 0 0.1 0 0.4 Answer 0 0.4 Question 108. Which of these statements about managing space is true? When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. Many accidents are caused by drivers keeping too much space in front of their vehicles. Smaller vehicles require more space to stop than larger ones. Answer. When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. Question 109. Which of these statements is true about speed management? 
On slippery roads, it takes longer to stop and is harder to turn without skidding. Shady parts of the road allow better traction than open areas. Road surfaces will freeze before bridges. Answer On slippery roads, it takes longer to stop and is harder to turn without skidding. Question 110. What are two special occasions where you should downshift? Before starting up a hill and when going around a curve. Before starting down a hill and before entering a curve. When starting off fast and speed shifting. Answer Before starting down a hill and before entering a curve. Question 111. The height of the vehicle's center of gravity is very important for safe handling. Roll over. Get stuck. Stop faster. Answer. Roll over. Question 112. You should avoid driving through deep puddles or flowing water but if you cannot, which of these steps can help keep your brakes working? Gently putting on the brakes while driving through the water. Turning on your brake heaters. Pressing both the brake pedal and the accelerator firmly after coming out of the water. Answer Gently putting on the brakes while driving through the water. Question 113. No matter how small the cargo is, it should have at least two tie downs. One tie down. Six tie downs. Answer. Two tie downs. Question 114. To help you stay alert while driving, you should Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Take cold medicine, if you have a cold. Schedule trips for hours you are normally asleep. Answer Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Question 115. If you do not have a CB radio, what is the first thing you should do at an accident scene? Protect the accident scene. Flag down help. Clear the area. Answer. Protect the accident scene. Question 116. Dry bulk tanks require special care because They have a high center of gravity. The load can shift. Both of these are true. Answer Both of these are true. Question 117. Over length, over width, and, or overweight loads require. Both answers are correct. Flashing lights. Driving limited to certain times. Answer. Both answers are correct. Question 118. Which of these will help keep an engine cool in hot weather? Both of these answers are correct. Properly adjusted V-belts. Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Answer 
Both of these answers are correct. Question 119. Which of the following may be a sign of tire failure? A loud hissing noise. Gentle thumping. Wheels fishtailing. Answer. Wheels fishtailing. Question 120. Gross vehicle weight rating, GVWR, means the following. Maximum GVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle including its load. Maximum GVW specified by the manufacturer. Maximum GVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle. Answer. Maximum GVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle including its load. Question 121. For an average commercial vehicle being driven at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement it will take about to bring the vehicle to stop. The length of a football field, 300 feet. Half the length of a football field, 150 feet. Twice the length of the vehicle. Answer. The length of a football field, 300 feet. Question 122. How do you calculate how many seconds of following distance space you have? Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot, then multiply your figure by 2. Divide your speed by 4 and add 1 second for every 10 feet of trailer you are hauling. Answer. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Question 123. An en route inspection should include shacking, cargo doors and, or cargo securement, tire temperature. All of these should be checked. Answer. All of these should be checked. Question 124. You are starting your vehicle from a stop. As you apply power to the driver wheels, they start to spin. You should. Try a lower gear. Take your foot off the accelerator. Press harder on the accelerator. Answer. Take your foot off the accelerator. Question 125. How can you avoid the effects that wet brakes can cause? Both of these answers are correct. Gently put on the brakes and increase engine RPM. Cross the water while keeping light pressure on the brakes. Slow down and place the transmission in low gear. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 126 Gross Vehicle Weight Rating GVWR means the following. Maximum GVW specified by the manufacturer. Maximum GVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle including its load. Maximum GVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle. 
Answer. Maximum GEVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle including its load. Question 127. Blocking your cargo to keep it from sliding must be done at the front, back, and, or sides of a piece of cargo. Front of a piece of cargo only. Cargo deck. Answer. Front, back, and, or sides of a piece of cargo. Question 128. What are some things to do at an accident scene to prevent another accident? If you're stopping to help, park away from the accident. Try to get your vehicle to the side of the road. All of these answers are correct. Answer All of these answers are correct. Question 129. What should the wheel bearing seals be checked for? Color of paint used on cover. Cleanliness. Hub oil level and no leaks. Answer. Hub oil level and no leaks. Question 130. What should you do if you see a hazard in the roadway? Swerve around it and get back into your lane. Use your four-way flashers or brake lights to warn others. Stop quickly and pull to the side of the road. Answer Use your four-way flashers or brake lights to warn others. Question 131. What is a hazard? Any road condition or other road user that is a possible danger. A flashing amber light. A small animal. Answer. Any road condition or other road user that is a possible danger. Question 132. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? The manual slack adjusters of the S-CAM brakes will not be set properly. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. Answer. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 133. You are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 50 miles per hour. Driving conditions are ideal. Dry pavement, good visibility. What is the least amount of space that you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? 5 seconds. 3 seconds 4 seconds Answer 5 seconds Question 134 When you check the condition of visible parts during your pre-trip inspection, make sure that the are secured against snagging, rubbing or wearing Airlines and electrical wiring. Primary and secondary safety cab locks. Frame and cross members. Answer. Airlines and electrical wiring. Question 135. Your brakes can get wet when you drive through a heavy rain. What can this cause when the brakes are applied? Wheel lockup. Lack of braking power. 
All of these are correct. Answer. All of these are correct. Question 136. Which of these statements is true about drugs? Certain prescription drugs are allowed to reduce fatigue. A driver can use any prescription drug while driving. The use of alcohol or drugs can lead to collision and, or arrest. Answer. The use of alcohol or drugs can lead to collision and, or arrest. Question 137. If you are convicted for driving under the influence while driving a commercial vehicle, and this is your first offense, you will most likely get a fine of $500, at least a one year suspension of your CDL, probation for a period of one year. Answer. At least a one year suspension of your CDL. Question 138. You must park on the side of a level, straight, four lane, divided highway. Where should you place the three reflective triangles? One about 10 feet from the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet from the front of the vehicle. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. One within 10 feet of the front of the vehicle, one about 200 feet from the front, and one about 100 feet to the rear. Answer One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear and one about 200 feet to the rear. Question 139. If you must stop on a hill in a two-way, two-lane road, how far back should you place your reflective triangles? Within 250 feet behind the vehicle. Within 100 feet behind the vehicle. Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Answer. Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Question 140. You should signal continuously while turning because... Most vehicles have self-canceling signals. You need both hands on the wheel to turn safely. It is illegal to turn off your signal before completing a turn. Answer. It is illegal to turn off your signal before completing a turn. Question 141. Why should you be in the proper gear before starting down a hill? Because you need to be in the same gear at the bottom of the hill. Because the clutch is made to be used on even surfaces. You will not be able to shift into a lower gear once you are going down a hill. Answer You will not be able to shift into a lower gear once you are going down a hill. Question 142 Which of the following cannot be checked at the same time? Brake light turn signal and four-way flasher functions. Brake lights and red reflectors, on rear. Headlights and amber reflectors. Answer. Brake light, turn signal and four-way flasher functions. Question 143. For your safety, when setting out reflective triangles you should 
carry the triangles at your side. Keep them out of sight while you walk to the spots where you set them out. Hold the triangles between yourself and oncoming traffic. Answer Hold the triangles between yourself and oncoming traffic. Question 144. Cargo that is not loaded or secured properly can cause many problems. Which of these statements is true? Both answers are correct. Loose cargo can cause injury to the driver or passengers during a quick stop or crash. Other highway users can hit or be hit by loose cargo. Answer Both answers are correct. Question 145 Which of the following may be a sign of tire failure? Gentle thumping, a loud hissing noise, wheels fishtailing. Answer Wheels fishtailing. Question 146. Which of these statements about downshifting for a long downhill grade is true? It should not be done with automatic transmission. The proper time to downshift is just after the vehicle starts down the hill. It allows engine compression and friction to help slow the vehicle. Answer It allows engine compression and friction to help slow the vehicle. Question 147. You are driving a new truck with a manual transmission. What gear will you probably have to use to take a long, steep downhill grade? The same gear you would use to climb the hill. A lower gear than you would use to climb the hill. Shift into neutral and coast. Answer a lower gear than you would use to climb the hill. Question 148. If the vehicle in front of you is smaller than yours, it can probably Outrun you. Take turns faster than you. Stop faster than you. Answer Stop faster than you. Question 149. What are two ways to know when to shift? Use your watch and engine sounds. Use engine speed, RPM, and use road speed, miles per hour. Use engine speed, RPM, and road signs. Answer Use engine speed, RPM, and use road speed, miles per hour. Question 150 Which of these statements is true about other drivers? Short term or daily rental truck drivers are often not used to the limited vision and pose a hazard. Mail or delivery truck drivers did not pose a hazard. Drivers using turn signals can be trusted to turn in the direction they indicate. Answer Short term or daily rental truck drivers are often not used to the limited vision and pose a hazard. Question 151, where or when should you test the stopping action of your service brakes? In the parking lot when the vehicle is not moving. When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. At a special brake testing center only. 
answer. When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. Question 152. Controlled braking is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Involves locking the wheels for short periods of time. Can be used while you are turning sharply. Answer Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Question 153 when should you wear seat belts? Anytime you are in a moving vehicle. Whenever you are hauling hazardous materials. Only in states where law requires it. Answer Anytime you are in a moving vehicle. Question 154. Which of these statements about double clutching and shifting is true? Double clutching should only be used with a heavy load. Double clutching should not be used when the road is slippery. You can use the tachometer to tell you when to shift. Answer you can use the tachometer to tell you when to shift. Question 155. A car suddenly cuts in front of you creating a hazard. What should you not do? Honk and stay close behind the car. Signal and change lanes to avoid the car if possible. Slow down to prevent a crash. Answer Honk and stay close behind the car. Question 156 Which of these statements about drinking alcohol is true? Alcohol first affects judgment and self control, which are essential for safe driving. Statistics show that drivers who have been drinking have a much greater chance of being in a crash. All of these are true. Answer All of these are true. Question 157 Which of these statements is true about brakes? Brake drums cool very quickly when the vehicle is moving very fast. Brake fade is not caused by heat. Brakes absorb more heat to stop heavier vehicles. Answer Brakes absorb more heat to stop heavier vehicles. Question 158 what should wheel bearing seals be checked for? Leaks Gasoline Color changes Answer Leaks Question 159 What are some things to do at an accident scene to prevent another accident? Try to get your vehicle to the side of the road. If you're stopping to help, park away from the accident. All of these answers are correct. Answer All of these answers are correct. Question 160. You should schedule your driving. For the hours you are normally awake. Between the hours of 4 a.m. and 6 p.m. Between the hours of 10 a.m. and midnight. Answer For the hours you are normally awake. 
Question 161. If you are driving a long distance, you should Take a short break once or twice during the trip when you are feeling tired or drowsy. Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Avoid short breaks but keep the window open. Answer Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Question 162. What is the minimum tread depth for tires other than front tires? 230 seconds inch. 330 seconds inch. 430 seconds inch. Answer. 230 seconds inch. Question 163. What is the first thing you should try to do if your brakes fail while driving downhill? Call a radio for help. Try to use your parking brake to stop. Get off the road as soon as possible. Answer. Get off the road as soon as possible. Question 164. A vehicle is loaded with most of the weight on the steering axle. What may result? Better handling. Hard steering and possible damage to the tires. Too little traction on the steering axle. Answer. Hard steering and possible damage to the tires. Question 165. When should the pre-trip inspection report from the last driver be reviewed? During your pre-trip inspection. It doesn't have to be reviewed. Once per week. Answer. During your pre-trip inspection. Question 166. There are three types of the vehicle inspections. Which of these is one of them? Post-trip and pre-trip. En route. All of these answers are correct. Answer. All of these answers are correct. Question 167. Name two situations where legal maximum weights may not be safe to haul. During bad weather or in mountains. Through tunnels and over bridges. At night or during heavy traffic. Answer. During bad weather or in mountains. Question 168. If you must stop on a hill in a two-way, two-lane road, how far back should you place your reflective triangles? Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Within 250 feet behind the vehicle. Within 100 feet behind the vehicle. Answer. Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Question 169. What three things add up to total stopping distance for your truck or bus? Attention distance, reaction distance, slowing distance. Observation distance, reaction distance, braking distance. Perception distance. Reaction distance, braking distance. Answer. Perception distance, reaction distance, braking distance. 
Question 170. Name some things you should check on the front of your vehicle during your pre-trip inspection. Oil, transmission, air compressor, and radiator. Low beams, dot high beams, four-way flashers, and turn signals. Windshield wipers, mirrors, and hood latches. Answer. Low beams, dot high beams, four-way flashers, and turn signals. Question 171. What does communicating mean in safe driving? Using hand signals. Driving brightly colored vehicles. Letting other drivers know you're there to help prevent crashes. Answer. Letting other drivers know you're there to help prevent crashes. Question 172. What items should be checked for safety on the steering column? Up to one-fourth of the steering parts may be broken. Steering arms should not have missing nut, bolts or cotter keys. Steering arms should not have mismatched, bent or cracked lug nuts. Answer. Steering arms should not have missing nut, bolts or cotter keys. Question 173. Escape ramps are Used to get out of a burning truck For combination vehicles only Used to stop runaway vehicles Answer Used to stop runaway vehicles Question 174. The most common cause of serious vehicle skids is Poorly adjusted brakes Driving too fast for road conditions Overinflated tires Answer Driving too fast for road conditions Question 175. You are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 50 miles per hour. Driving conditions are ideal. Dry pavement, good visibility. What is the least amount of space that you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? 4 seconds. 3 seconds. 5 seconds. Answer. 5 seconds Question 176 You should try to park your vehicle so There is at least one curb next to your vehicle You can pull forward when you leave Your vehicle is protected by trees or some overhang Answer you can pull forward when you leave. Question 177. Whether or not you load and secure your load yourself, you are responsible for. Knowing your cargo is securely tied down and covered. Both answers are correct. Recognizing overloads and poorly balanced weight. Answer. Both answers are correct. Question 178. What is the minimum tread depth for tires other than front tires? 3.30 seconds inch. 4.30 seconds inch. 2.30 seconds inch. Answer. 230 seconds inch.
Question 179. Why should you back towards the driver's side? Backing toward the right side is dangerous. Both answers are correct. So you can see better. Answer. Both answers are correct. Question 180. It takes the body about hours to get rid of the alcohol in four drinks. Six. Four. Two. Answer. Four. Question 181. What three things related to cargo are the driver's responsibility? Weighing the cargo, securing the cargo, and delivering the cargo. Inspecting the cargo, recognizing overloads, and properly securing the cargo. Inspecting the cargo, hauling the cargo, and securing the cargo. Answer. Inspecting the cargo, recognizing overloads, and properly securing the cargo. Question 182. Which of these describes how you should use the brake pedal on a steep downhill grade? Release the brake when you are 5 miles per hour below your safe speed, then let your speed come back up to your safe speed and repeat braking again. Bring your speed down 5 miles per hour below your safe speed. With stronger pressure as the vehicle goes downhill. Light steady pressure. Answer. Release the brake when you are 5 miles per hour below your safe speed, then let your speed come back up to your safe speed and repeat braking again. Bring you speed down 5 miles per hour below your safe speed. Question 183. Which of these statements about using turn signals is true? When turning, you should signal early. You do not need to use your turn signal when changing lanes in traffic on a four-lane highway. You should use your turn signal to mark your vehicle when it is pulled off on the side of the road. Answer When turning, you should signal early. Question 184 You must park on the side of a level, straight, two-lane road. Where should you place the reflective triangle? One about 50 feet to the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. Answer. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. Question 185. You are driving a truck with a manual transmission. You have to stop the truck on the shoulder while driving on an uphill grade. Which of these is a good rule to follow when putting it back in motion up the grade? Keep the clutch slipping while slowly accelerating. Let the vehicle roll straight backwards a few feet before you engage the clutch. Use the parking brake to hold the vehicle until the clutch engages. Answer Use the parking brake to hold the vehicle until the clutch engages. 
Question 186. If you have been drinking alcohol, before you drive, you should Take a cold shower Wait for it to wear off Drink coffee Answer Wait for it to wear off Question 187 how does bleeding tar affect the road surface and driving conditions? It does not affect the road surface or driving conditions. It is very sticky slowing down your vehicle. Tar in the road pavement rises to the road surface in very hot weather causing the roads to become very slippery. Answer Tar in the road pavement rises to the road surface in very hot weather causing the roads to become very slippery. Question 188. If you do not have a CB radio, what is the first thing you should do at an accident scene? Clear the area. Protect the accident scene. Flag down help. Answer Protect the accident scene Question 189 Which of these statements about tires and hot weather driving is true? You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. If a tire is too hot to touch, you should drive on it to cool it off. The air pressure of a tire decreases as the temperature of the tire increases. Answer You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. Question 190 Front End Header Boards Protect you from your cargo in case of collision. Both answers are correct. Block the forward movement of your cargo. Answer Both answers are correct. Question 191 How can you avoid the effects that wet brakes can cause? Both of these answers are correct. Slow down and place the transmission in low gear. Gently put on the brakes and increase engine RPM. Cross the water while keeping light pressure on the brakes. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 192. What is the minimum tread depth for front tires? 4 30 seconds inch. 1 30 second inch. 2 30 seconds inch. Answer. 4 30 seconds inch. Question 193. You are driving in the right lane of a four-lane, undivided road. You come over a hill and find a car stopped ahead in your lane. You do not have room to stop. The hill blocks your view to the rear. The shoulder is clear. Which of these is most likely the best action to take? Steer into the left lane. Use hard braking and brace for collision. Steer to the right. Answer Steer to the right. Question 194. Which of these statements about driving in areas with strong winds is true? Winds are a big problem when a truck comes out of tunnels. 
You should drive alongside other vehicles to help break up the wind. The lighter your vehicle, the less trouble you will have with the wind. Answer Winds are a big problem when a truck comes out of tunnels. Question 195 You are checking your steering and exhaust systems in your pre trip inspection. Which of these problems should be fixed before the vehicle is driven? Gray smoke from the exhaust pipe, oil on the tie rod, steering plane more than 10%, 2 inches on a 20 inch wheel. Answer Staring play more than 10%, 2 inches on a 20 inch wheel. Question 196 If you must stop on a hill in a two way, two lane road, how far back should you place your reflective triangles? Within 250 feet behind the vehicle. Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Within 100 feet behind the vehicle. Answer Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Question 197 Measuring back, blood alcohol concentration, is done by measuring a person's age, body weight. Height. Answer. Body weight. Question 198. The most important reason for being alert to hazards is so. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Accident reports will be accurate. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 199 You are checking your tires for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? A tread depth of 2 30 seconds inches safe for the front tires. Radial and bias ply tires can be used together on the same vehicle. Tires of mismatched sizes should not be used on the same vehicle. Answer Tires of mismatched sizes should not be used on the same vehicle. Question 200. Blocking your cargo to keep it from sliding must be done at the Cargo deck Front of a piece of cargo only Front, back, and, or sides of a piece of cargo Answer Front, back, and, or sides of a piece of cargo Question 201. A vehicle is loaded with most of the weight on the steering axle. What may result? Hard steering and possible damage to the tires. Too little traction on the steering axle. Better handling. Answer. Hard steering and possible damage to the tires. Question 202. Axle weight means the following. The weight transmitted to the tires from the axle. Both of these are correct. The weight transmitted to the ground by one axle or one set of axles. Answer. The weight transmitted to the ground by one axle or one set of axles. 
Question 203, which of the following is not a type of retarder? Robotic Electric Hydraulic Answer Robotic Question 204. When checking the bus seats, what are you looking for? To see if they have been removed. To ensure they are securely fastened to the bus. Both of these answers are correct. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 205. To correct a drive wheel braking skid you should Counter steer Turn slowly Keep your foot off the clutch Answer Counter steer Question 206. How do you calculate how many seconds of following distance space you have? Divide your speed by 4 and add 1 second for every 10 feet of trailer you are hauling. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark. Then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot, then multiply your figure by 2. Answer Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Question 207 which of these statements is true about backing heavy vehicles? It's safer to back toward the right side of the vehicle. Helpers should be out of sight and use only spoken signals to communicate with the driver. You should avoid backing whenever you can. Answer You should avoid backing whenever you can. Question 208. There are three types of a vehicle inspections, which of these is one of them? En route. Post trip and pre trip. All of these answers are correct. Answer. All of these answers are correct. Question 209. What is an escape ramp? A quick way to get out of town. Ramps to get on and off an interstate highway fast. Ramps that are located a few miles from the top of a downgrade to help you stop. Answer. Ramps that are located a few miles from the top of a downgrade to help you stop. Question 210. You should back and turn toward the driver's side. Unless you would have to drive around the block first. So you can watch the rear of the vehicle by looking out the side window. If you do not have someone to help you. Answer. So you can watch the rear of the vehicle by looking out the side window. Question 211. What are some things to do at an accident scene to prevent another accident? Try to get your vehicle to the side of the road. If you're stopping to help, park away from the accident. All of these answers are correct. Answer All of these answers are correct. 
Question 212, Bridge Formula is Permit. Less maximum axle weight for axles that are far apart. The same maximum axle weight for any axle spacing. Less maximum axle weight for axles that are close together. Answer Less maximum axle weight for axles that are close together. Question 213. A driver's trip log if required. Must be shown immediately when an officer requests it. May be written in pencil. May be brought up to date once a week. Answer. Must be shown immediately when an officer requests it. Question 214. You are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 50 miles per hour. Driving conditions are ideal. Dry pavement, good visibility. What is the least amount of space that you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? 4 seconds. 5 seconds. 3 seconds. Answer. 5 seconds. Question 215. If you must stop on a hill in a two-way, two-lane road, how far back should you place your reflective triangles? Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Within 100 feet behind the vehicle. Within 250 feet behind the vehicle. Answer. Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Question 216. No matter how small the cargo is, it should have at least one tie down, two tie downs, six tie downs. Answer. Two tie downs. Question 217. Why are placards used? It is the law. So hazardous materials are not mixed with food. To communicate the risk. Answer. To communicate the risk. Question 218. Which item below lists almost all or all the emergency equipment that is required on a school bus? A can of brake fluid, flashlight, and a new bottle of window washer fluid. A crowbar and a fire extinguisher only. A fire extinguisher, flashlight, fuses, electrical fuses, if your vehicle uses them, a crowbar. Emergency triangles, and a first aid kit, with an emergency medical card for each student inside the first aid kit. Answer A fire extinguisher, flashlight, fuses, electrical fuses, if your vehicle uses them, a crowbar, emergency triangles, and a first aid kit with an emergency medical card for each student inside the first aid kit. Question 219. The most important reason for being alert to hazards is so. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 220. 
Which of these is not something you should do if your headlights are not working properly? Leave your high beams on. Adjust the headlights. Clean the headlights. Answer. Leave your high beams on. Question 221. Which of these is a good thing to remember when crossing or entering traffic with a heavy vehicle? The best way to cross traffic is to pull the vehicle part way across the road and block one lane while waiting for the other to clear. Heavy vehicles need larger gaps in traffic than cars. Because heavy vehicles are easy to see, you can count on other drivers to move out of your way or slow down for you. Answer Heavy vehicles need larger gaps in traffic than cars. Question 222 Which of these statements about downshifting for a long downhill grade is true? It should not be done with automatic transmissions. The proper time to downshift is just after the vehicle starts down the hill. It allows engine compression and friction to help the brakes slow the vehicle. Answer It allows engine compression and friction to help the brakes slow the vehicle. Question 223 Which of these will help keep an engine cool in hot weather? Both of these answers are correct. Properly adjusted V belts. Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 224 Name two situations where legal maximum weights may not be safe to haul. At night or during heavy traffic. During bad weather or in mountains. Through tunnels and over bridges. Answer. During bad weather or in mountains. Question 225. What will help keep an engine cool in hot weather? Running the air conditioner. Driving faster to force more air into the radiator. Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Answer. Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Question 226. Which of these statements is true about other drivers? Drivers using turn signals can be trusted to turn in the direction they indicate. Mail or delivery truck drivers did not pose a hazard. Short-term or daily rental truck drivers are often not used to the limited vision and pose a hazard. Answer Short-term or daily rental truck drivers are often not used to the limited vision and pose a hazard. Question 227 Which of these statements about using mirrors is true? You should check your mirrors twice for a lane change. There are blind spots that your mirrors cannot show you. You should look at a mirror for several seconds at a time. Answer There are blind spots that your mirrors cannot show you. Question 228 As the blood alcohol concentration, back, goes up, what happens? Judgment and self-control are affected. 
the drinker can sober up in less time. The drinker more dearly sees how alcohol is affecting him, her. Answer Judgment and self-control are affected. Question 229 How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Drive slowly and pump the brake metal. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor. Drive 20 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold it for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Answer Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold it for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Question 230. Which piece of emergency equipment should be in your vehicle? First aid kit. Circuit breakers. Warning devices for parked vehicles. Answer. Warning devices for parked vehicles. Question 231. If your brakes get wet while driving on a rainy day, what can happen when you apply the brakes? Hydroplaning. Excessive brake wear. Trailer jackknife. Answer. Trailer jackknife. Question 232. What is counter steering? Turning the wheel back in the other direction after steering to avoid a traffic emergency. Staring in the opposite direction from what other drivers expect you to. Turning the wheel in a counterclockwise fashion. Answer. Turning the wheel back in the other direction after steering to avoid a traffic emergency. Question 233. A vehicle is loaded with most of the weight on the steering axle. What may result? Too little traction on the steering axle. Hard steering and possible damage to the tires. Better handling. Answer. Hard steering and possible damage to the tires. Question 234. How can you avoid the effects that wet brakes can cause? Both of these answers are correct. Slow down and place the transmission in low gear. Gently put on the brakes and increase engine RPM, cross the water while keeping light pressure on the brakes. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 235 If you are driving a 30-foot vehicle at 55 miles per hour, how many seconds of following distance should you allow? 6 seconds 4 seconds 8 seconds Answer 4 seconds Question 236 what is the first thing you should try to do if your brakes fail while driving downhill? Get off the road as soon as possible. Call a radio for help. Try to use your parking brake to stop. Answer Get off the road as soon as possible. Question 237. Underloaded front axles can cause the following. 
poor traction and damage to the tires. Too much play in the steering wheel. Both of these are true. Answer. Both of these are true. Question 238. The braking effect of the engine is greatest when the engine is. The govern RPMs and the transmission is in the gears. Below, higher. Above, lower. Near, lower. Answer. Near, lower. Question 239. What are the two main things to look for ahead? Police and way stations. Traffic and road conditions. Road signs and traffic. Answer. Traffic and road conditions. Question 240. When inspecting mirrors and windshields for cracks, dirt, and illegal stickers, or other obstructions to your vision, you should not worry about any of it. Look in the mirror to see if you look good. Clean and adjust as necessary. Answer. Clean and adjust as necessary. Question 241. A key principle to remember about loading cargo is to keep the load. To the front. Balanced in the cargo area. To the rear. Answer. Balanced in the cargo area. Question 242. Why put the starter key in your pocket during the pre-trip inspection? So no one moves the vehicle. For your safety. So you don't lose it. Answer. For your safety. Question 243. What three things add up to total stopping distance for your truck or bus? Perception distance, reaction distance, braking distance. Observation distance, reaction distance, braking distance. Attention distance, reaction distance, slowing distance. Answer. Perception distance, reaction distance, braking distance. Question 244. How far ahead should you be looking while driving in town? One block. As far ahead as you can see. Two blocks. Answer. One block. Question 245. Turn signals should be used. At least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. At least 350 feet before turning or changing lanes. At least 250 feet before turning or changing lanes. Answer. At least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. Question 246. If you have been drinking alcohol, before you drive, you should Take a cold shower. Drink coffee. Wait for it to wear off. Answer. Wait for it to wear off. 
Question 247. You are checking your brakes and suspension system for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? Both of these answers are correct. Brake shoes should be at least 1 32nd inch thick. Brake pads should not have brake fluid on them. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 248. Inspect your cargo after you have driven. 150 miles 25 miles or 50 miles depending on the law and the state you are in, then again after 3 hours or after you have driven 150 miles and after every stop for a break. 75 miles Answer 25 miles or 50 miles depending on the law and the state you are in. Then again after 3 hours or after you have driven 150 miles and after every stop for a break. Question 249. The distance you should look ahead. While driving at highway speeds. 1 8th mile. 1 4th mile. 1 half mile. Answer. One fourth mile. Question 250. If your brakes get wet while driving on a rainy day, what can happen when you apply the brakes? Excessive brake wear. Hydroplaning. Trailer jackknife. Answer. Trailer jackknife. Question 251. Which of these is not part of the pre trip inspection of the engine compartment? Condition of hoses. Worn electrical wiring insulation. Valve clearance. Answer. Valve clearance. Question 252. When driving at night, use your low beams when an oncoming vehicle is within 300 feet, 500 feet, 400 feet. Answer 500 feet. Question 253. Which of these statements about staying alert to drive is true? There are drugs that can overcome fatigue. Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. A half hour break for coffee will do more to keep you alert than a half hour nap. Answer. Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.